In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a free blog with system.io. Now, this is going to be a very powerful blog, which can rank into Google. You can customize it however you like, and you can do this all for free with system.io. So I'll leave a link to system.io in the description. Go ahead and click on it, and it will take you to this page here, where we can go ahead and sign up. It's free forever, and no credit card is required. So go ahead and sign in, and that will take you to the dashboard. And what we can do here is we can start to build out our blog. Now, not only can we use system.io to build a blog, you can also create funnels, you can send out emails, you can build an email list, and you can do all of this for free with the free plan. So go ahead and go to blogs, and we're gonna build out our blog first. Now, you can see I've already had a play around with this and created one test blog, uh, but you wanna go to create, and here you can then enter in the name of your blog and choose a domain name. So by default, you won't have any domain names connected. I just connected one for a tutorial, but you can connect domain names for free. So if you have a domain name, you can connect it for free. You don't even have to upgrade to a paid plan to connect the domain name. If you don't have a domain name though, and you want to run with the system.io subdomain, your username is going to be put in front of system.io. So when you sign up, Make sure your username is something related to your blog. You can change this later though, so don't stress too much. Now for the name of my blog, I'm just gonna call it YouTube Tutorial, and we're, we're then going to select a template. So they have a they have quite a lot of different templates that you can choose from. And for the video, I'll just go ahead and run with this one, but you can preview these templates and select whichever one you want. You can also customize this completely, and I'm gonna cover that in a second when I show you around. So I'm going to select this template and then click save. Okay, so the first limitation of the free plan is you can only create one blog, which I found out now, but that's fine. I'm just gonna remove this test one and we'll click save and now we can create our blog. Okay, so now we have our blog all up and running. We can now go ahead and click on the blog's name and that will take you into kind of like the dashboard where you can edit all of your blog posts, the pages, you can view your blog and you can add categories and things like that. So here are gonna be the main buttons that you want to look at here. So first I'm gonna click on view blog and I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. This is gonna show me what my blog currently looks like without me adding any articles or without me editing it. And so you can see at the top here we've got a a title, we've got some subtext here, and we've got an email opt-in form. Now maybe you don't want this and that's fine, I'm gonna show you how to remove this as well. But we've got the recent articles here, and you can see this is looking all sleek, and it's categorized here, or it's sectioned off by the different categories which we can edit when we start to obviously create these, these articles. Now you've also got a contact us page, you've got a page with just your articles, and you've also got an about section and all of this can be customized, right? So heading back to this page here, um, you've got blog elements, you've got your pages here, so you've got first posts, then you've got the different pages, so you've got your home page, the post page, about page, contact us page, and you've got categories. So what I'm gonna first do is edit the home page. So you wanna go to pages, go to home page, and that's gonna allow you to edit the home page in the editor. So you can see here is our home page, here are our recent articles, here are our categories. Now, you can delete and edit anything on this page. Everything that you hover over, you can edit. So let's say we wanted to edit this text, and let's say my blog is about, I don't know, growing on YouTube, like how to grow on YouTube, right? So maybe I might wanna type here, learn how to grow on YouTube. And this looks too big, right? So what I can do, I can highlight this text and when you highlight or click on any element, you can edit everything on the left-hand side here. So we can bring down the font size a little bit and we can also change the line height. And let's say we want to change this text, we just click on it. And then I might wanna put something like this, hi. So maybe I wanna put something like this in the subtext. Hi, I'm Bradley, let me show you how I grew my YouTube channel to one million views per month. Right, and we can highlight this, make this bit bold. Now what I'm gonna do here is if I click on this text, you can see here it looks like it's kind of close to the headline. And the good thing about system.io is you can literally edit everything. So if you scroll down here, you just wanna play around with these different sliders and see what they do. 
But if I go to margin here, I can bring this down a little bit. And there you go, that looks a bit better. I'm also going to click on this and center this text. And I'll also center this one. So we'll highlight it all and then click the center tool. Now what I'm also going to do is remove this email opt-in because I don't want to cover that in this video. And um, we can just completely remove that, that's fine. Now obviously I might want to write more text here or add more elements and all the elements here are on the side and you can change this however. Here you've got an image which you can either delete if you want to or maybe you can just add an image. So if you click on it, you can see image file, you can then click this button and drag any of your images on here. Um, let me just use this one. Okay, so yeah, so this is an image I've got off the internet. We're going to insert that and there we go. So building out these pages is very simple. You can change everything on the page. So go ahead and hover over stuff, click on it, see what you can edit and edit these things, right? This is only the home page. So we can save these changes and then we can go ahead and click exit and it's gonna take us straight back to this dashboard. Again, at any point we can click on view blog here and it's going to open up our blog. So let, let me just go back to home and there you go, we can see our changes have been updated. So now let's look at writing articles because you can see right now we've just got our blog full of filler articles. Now, for you to customize and create your blog properly, you are gonna need to write like 10 or so articles because you can't really edit a blog with no articles, right? It's gonna be blank. So go to posts and what you can do, you can delete these articles if you want and just like completely remove them, which I recommend. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new blog, a new blog post, and here I'll give it a title. So let's just call it "How to Get More Views on YouTube," and then a short description. Then we can upload an image. I'll just choose a file and I'll just upload a random image. It's not going to match the article, but it's just for demo purposes anyway. And let's just pretend this was a nice graphic of like YouTube views or something. We can then choose a category. Now these categories you can customize as well, and but for now I'm going to put it in category A. Like you can change the name of these in the categories section here. So we'll save this, and now we've just created a new post called "How to Get More Views on YouTube." Now if we wanted to edit this, we could go ahead and click on the blog post, and that's going to take us into this window where we can now start to build out our blog post. By default, it's going to show the title, the date, and the image, and you can customize these defaults as well. You can customize everything, right? You just have to find the buttons to do so. I'll, I'll cover that in a second. Now what you can do is you can scroll down and start to drag down elements. So maybe you want to first add the headline. So for my headline, I'll type how to get more views on YouTube and I'm going to make this a H1, and I'll make it bold, right? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this text, and I'm going to bring the margin down so it's like closer to the image, because I don't really like the spacing, right? Right, so that's a bit better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and drag in a text box just below it, and now we can obviously start to write our blog posts, Below, we might want to put an image. So you might want to like separate your blog post with texts and image. So you can then go ahead and add an image. So go to media, add image. And obviously you can start to build out your blog post and add anything. For the sake of the video, I'll just upload the same image. And it is very, very easy stuff, guys. System, I'm like really impressed with system.io. Boom, so there we've got the image. And let's say we want to drag this image up. So let's go ahead and mess around with this margin again. And look how easy this is to edit. Anyone can do this. So now you've got a, like a nice looking blog post. And this can be edited as well. We'll, we'll save these changes and then we will exit out of this. So now you've wrote your blog post. So let's say we want to publish it. So here we're back on this page with our posts. You can see that the status is currently inactivated. In, so you want to go ahead and activate it. So click on the three dots next to the post and then click activate and then confirm, and that will make that blog post live. And then if you go to view blog, it will show you your blog. So here's our homepage, which we've edited, how to get more views on YouTube, here is our article. Now, 
two more things because these are going to be important. If you go to blog layout, you can edit what your blog post is going to look like. So this is going to be the layout of your blog and you can edit the image. You can edit stuff that you couldn't edit before. Like if you don't want this email opt-in, you can delete this and it will be gone on all of your, your posts, right? Delete this, click save and exit. That's going to update on every single one of your pages. You can also go to post layout and here you can edit your post default. So by default, it will have the title, the date, and the image and you can obviously keep this consistent throughout all of your blog posts so that's a good feature one more thing how to change your categories so by default you're going to have default categories which you can change so if you go to categories here you've got the different names of each category right so go ahead and go to settings and i wouldn't make new categories i just changed the ones that are already there so name i'm going to call this youtube views and it's going to automatically change the path and we can then save this. Now, if we go to posts, we can make sure that the post we just made goes to the right category. So go ahead and click on these three dots, go to settings, and you can see it's in the category of YouTube views. Now, one last view of our blog, you can see it's in the category called YouTube views. And now obviously you can delete all of these other blog posts and start to populate your blog with blog posts. So edit everything you can do, upload your own logo, make this, personal to you and your brand and start writing blog posts and you'll fill this out in no time. But that was a quick overview of how you can use system.io to create a blog. Sign up in the description and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions.